Okay. I have this paper. If you don't have this paper, you don't have to have this paper. You could do this on a box or you could do it on a separate piece of paper. If you're in the Mayam classroom, you have this paper. You have a few copies of these, so you could do this later. But if you don't, you could just do this on paper or a box or something. But we're mixing colors, okay? So I'm gonna move it down here. Now I'm gonna move my camera a bit so you can see. Do this. There we go. Okay. So I'm using, you can't really see my watercolors, but I'll move them up a little bit. I'm using watercolors, these ones, liquid watercolors. You could use markers or you could use normal, like these paint watercolors, or you could use crayons. You could use anything as long as it has a color, but I wanted to use these liquid watercolors. So I've got my, my, my three colors that I'm going to need. And then I have a cup of water because I don't have different brushes and I don't want to mix them. So I'm going to put it in the water and then clean it. Okay. So my first one here, you can't really see it. If you're, if you know some letters, you could probably sound it out. But this says red and this says yellow. And this, so in this spot, I'm going to put, I'm just going to put red. I'm just going to put red. So, and here, there's nothing underneath. So, I'm going to put the red in here, and then I'm going to put the yellow in here, and then what do you think I would do in here? I'm going to mix both red and yellow together and see what color comes, and then we can write it underneath. So, right now, I am doing red. I'm just going to do a light little bit of red. I feel like I should put a paper towel under here. Okay, so now I'm going to mix it in the water because I don't want to mix these colors. And I didn't have, I only had one brush. So this one is yellow, right? So I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow. And I'm just going to put yellow in this spot. Have you ever mixed these colors? Does anybody have a, a thought of what color you think would come? You see, I did red and then I did yellow. And now in this one, I'm going to do a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. This one, I'm going to mix them. So that's my water. So I'm going to do a little bit of red. So you can think what color you thought it was going to be. And then we'll see. Ready? I've got the yellow. I'm going to mix the yellow. Oh. Ah, oh, my hand's in the way, sorry. What color did we just make? Does that look like orange to you? So we did red and yellow and that made orange. So I'm gonna write orange underneath of it. So we made orange. All right, so down here, we're gonna do it again. Does this look familiar? What do you think I'm gonna put in this one? I'm gonna put red, and then this one is blue. So I'm put red here, blue here, and then this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix them together and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I already used red before, so I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna move this over. Okay, so this was red, so I'm gonna do red. Do a little bit of red in here. I'm not mixing, I'm only putting red in here. Okay, and now I'm going to mix it in the water. I'm doing red and what was the next one? Blue. This is just blue. Oh, that's a pretty blue. Remember, you could use markers or you could use crayons. It might be a different texture, but it would still mix. And then we could see what it looks like. Maybe your colors will look a little bit different if you use a different material. Okay, so we got red and blue. So I'm going to mix the water. Do, 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 do. So now, in this third one, what am I going to do? I'm going to mix them together. So I've got a little bit of red. A little bit of red, see? And I'm going to put in a little bit of, a little bit of blue. And let's see. 
Did you guess what color you thought would come? What does that look like to you? We mixed red and blue and it looks like we got purple. Looks like we made a purple. Like I said, if you use the different material, maybe you'll come up with a different color or a different shade of the color. So I'm gonna write purple under there. So, so far we made orange and we made purple. And now this next one, this last row, does this look familiar? Did we do this on this row? Oh, we did. So this would be blue. And this one is familiar too. Look, we did it up here. So we're gonna do blue and yellow again. And then we are going to mix them together. Okay, so I gotta make sure my brush is clean. So I'm doing blue. Just blue. What do you think if we mix blue and yellow? Because while you do it, you can think and you can predict. Say, hmm, what do I think would happen if I mix these two together? Okay, so I got wet. Now I'm going to do yellow. Just yellow. Okay, and now we're going to mix them together. So I'm going to clean my brush. Get a little bit of blue. Wash my brush. <gasps> it's the last one. I'm excited. What color is it going to be? Ooh. What does that look like to you? I say it's green. So I'm going to write green. So that was us mixing colors with the liquid watercolors. You could use a marker or a crayon or anything else that has color and it might be a different texture. So we made orange and we made purple and we made green just from mixing those, those colors. So nice job, I'm excited to see what you can do with mixing colors.